What's up guys? Today we are going to talk about how cloud servers compare to local machines. Cloud servers include AWS, Paperspace, GCP, etc. services. I'm going to discuss specifically about machine learning workflows. So if your machine is slow and training takes too long, I think this video is for you. Let us contrast these two methods and see what's the difference between those two. Traditionally, all of the processing happens in our CPU and the results are displayed on the screen. While in the cloud servers, all of the processing happens on the servers provided by AWS or DigitalOcean and the results are displayed on the screen. So the front end remains the same, there is no difference. For example, this is the notebook running on my computer and this is the notebook running on my server you can see basically there is no difference all of the interface remains the same this is the server the only thing that changes is the place where all the processing takes place let us walk through all the advantages that cloud servers will provide us i'm going to talk about gcp but all of these advantages apply to other services too the first advantage is the power that these services provide. For example, GCP allows us to use any number of cores up to 96 or allows us to have 600 gigabytes of RAM or 8 GPUs and practically unlimited disk space. Let me show you. You can choose any number of CPUs here and if you want to customize them, you can. We can also select GPUs, they can be 1, 2 or 4, whatever our choice. It is simply impossible to have all this on our local machines, so the cloud services have a clear advantage. The second advantage that these services have is the flexibility that they offer. I can use them on a 10 year old computer and a latest laptop and I can have basically the same performance because the processing is not taking place on these two devices. The processing takes place on the servers of these services. I can be doing my work on a computer I have at home, save my work and continue the same work on some other computer in my college or at my workplace. This is the flexibility that I don't think local machines can get. The third advantage that these services offer is the scalability. I can choose a machine type of two cores and if I think that this performance is not good, it would take me just five minutes to switch to eight cores and have a GPU. It's that simple. If I have more need, I can switch from eight to whatever I want. So if my projects grow large, I can just use whatever I need. This scalability is not available on a local machine where we have just one configuration. The last thing I want to mention is that Google offers $300 credit for everyone who signs up for the platform. All of the charges are deducted from these $300 balance. If these cloud servers are so powerful, so scalable and have such flexibility, why not try them? Watch my other tutorial on how you can set up these cloud servers to run Jupyter Notebook. We get the same experience as the local computer, but we also have the flexibility to change the number of cores as per our need and have GPUs. That's it guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any feedback or any topic you would like me to cover, please leave it in the comments below and I will see you next time.